The United Nations Panel on Climate Change told the world on Monday that global warning or warming was dangerously close to being out of control. The panel also says the humans were unequivocally to blame. Already greenhouse gas levels and in the atmosphere are high enough to guarantee climate disruption for decades, if not centuries. The report from our scientists of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has seriously warned. Deadly heat waves, wildfires destroying US towns and Greek and Siberian forests, Greenland's melting ice sheet, Germany's devastating floods. The world is dangerously close to runaway global warming and it's unequivocally caused by humans. That was the dire warning from the UN panel on climate change on Monday. Greenhouse gas levels in the atmosphere are already high enough to disrupt the climate for decades, if not centuries, warned the report by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Unless emissions are drastically reduced, it said, average global temperatures are likely to cross the 1.5 degrees Celsius threshold within 20 years. Friederike Otto of the University of Oxford, who co-authored the IPCC report, said global warming is now irreversible. And so if we if we stop warming at 1.5 degrees, um, then we will also stop many of these extremes from getting worse. And um, and I think that um, and, and while we are committed to some changes, particularly sea level rise, glacier mill still to come for for many decades, we can slow these changes down. Um, and we can stop many of the others from getting worse by um, urgently and drastically reducing um, CO2 emissions in the next decade. Drawing on more than 14,000 scientific studies, the report gives us the most comprehensive and detailed picture yet of how climate change is altering the natural world and what could still be ahead. Describing the report as a code red for humanity, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres urged an end to the use of coal and other highly polluting fossil fuels. The 1.1 degree warming already recorded has been enough to unleash catastrophic heat waves, floods, hurricanes and fires across the globe. Greenpeace's UK Executive Director, John Sovan, said governments have to stop hitting the snooze button. You know, the rich countries agreed more than 10 years ago to put a pot of money together to help developing countries deal with climate change. 10 years later, they have still not got that money together. The trust from the developing countries in the rich world is collapsing as a result of that. When governments know the crisis that we're facing, why are they not acting? The IPCC report comes just three months before a major UN climate conference known as COP26 in Glasgow, Scotland. Scotland. So far, nations' pledges have been inadequate, but they will be under pressure to commit to more ambitious action and substantial financing to go with it. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.